Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2024 Variant 2. I am going to do the document production task. So these are the required files. I have the files here. Open the evidence file. Make sure your name and candidate details are there on every page and you need to save this as evidence. So this is the evidence. So let's save this. As evidence followed by your candidate number. Insert header. Give your name. Center number. And candidate number. So this is the required evidence document. Using suitable software, open the file info.rtf. So I have the info file here. The page setup is set to a four portrait with two centimeter margins. Do not make any changes. Uh, four paragraph styles are created. Do not make any changes. Save the document with the file name pamphlet. So let's save this. And make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using. So we have to make sure it is saved as Word document. Save. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure there is evidence of the file type. So we need to take screenshot of this file which has been saved. Make sure the file format is shown properly. So select this. You can take the screenshot. That is your first evidence. Place right aligned in the header of the pamphlet document the text information updated by followed by a space and then your candidate details. So in the header, right aligned. Insert header. So we don't have any text on the left or in the middle. So here you have to information updated by your space, then your name, center number, and candidate number. Then go to the footer. Place right aligned in the footer automated page numbers. Here also we don't have anything in the left middle. Now insert page number in the current position. Make sure the header and footer are aligned. No other text or placeholders are included and all the headers and footers are displayed. So you can go through the document. Now it is fine. Select the subheading educational facilities and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending additional privileges. So let's find this paragraph. So to find the paragraph, you can press Ctrl F or find option from here. Just type the few words. So this is the paragraph which we require. So from this paragraph till educational facilities. Change the page layout so that the text is divided into two columns of equal width with one centimeter spacing. So go to layout, columns, 
more columns select two and the spacing must be one centimeter and this is equal width you okay next the tac subhead style has already been created and applied uh, modify the subhead style so that only the following format is applied so in order to modify subhead style so we have subhead style here right click modify so this is the subhead style now the phone should be serif 16 center so the phone should be serif so for serif we can give times new roman the size is 16 center aligned bold and italic single zero and three spacing so bold it's already bold and italic but you have to remove the underline because only these styles should be applied then for the spacing go to paragraph single line spacing before should be zero and after should be three take a screenshot to show how you have modified so you need to take a screenshot of this part give ok and ok go to your evidence document that is step 4 evidence Next, sort the bulleted list from books to travel into alphabetic order. So select the bullets. These are the bullets. Select this. You can see sorting here. Sort option. Click on this. It should be ascending. Give OK. So it is sorted into ascending order. Format the list so that the bullets are intended 1.5 cm from the left margin. So select the bullets, right click, paragraph. You can see indentation before text. So here you can give 1.5. Give OK. So the bullets are intended 1.5. Next import the image email.jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning the college has a limited fund so here you can see the college has a limited fund so we need to insert the image here so go to insert picture email image insert format the image so that the text wraps around the image it appears in the paragraph starting and align to the right of the column and bottom of the text in that paragraph so it should be aligned this way so go to wrap text set square so that the text wraps around and now you need to move it to the right margin and it is to the bottom of the paragraph so this way it should be this way when clicked it opens an email editor ready to send a message to TAC Cambridge.org with a subject line Tavara Bursary. So this should be a hyperlink. So select the image, right click. You can click on link. So it should open a link to send an email. So select email address. Type the email address tac at cambridge.org. The subject line is Tavara Bursary.
place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the link from the image, the email address and the subject. So you need to take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot this way. Okay. This is step eight evidence. Locate the table in the document. Uh, delete the entire column and contents with the heading price per week. So we have the table here. So you need to delete this column price per week. So select this right click delete columns. Format the first row of the table so that it becomes a single cell with the condensed central line over three columns. So that means we need to merge these. So select these cells, right click, merge cells and make sure it is central line. It has a light gray background fill. So go to background fill. You can choose a light gray between 20 to 40. You keep the um, cursor, you can see the percentage value there. Format the table so that all text in each row displays on one line or the table borders and all data fit within the column width. So just select the table, right click, auto fit, auto fit to contents. So you can see all the text are fitting on one line and it is fitting inside the column width. Spell check and proofread the document. Make sure the list and table are not split. So first let's do the spell check. So go to review, spelling and grammar. So spell check is correct. You can see it is correct. So if there is any suggestions, you can change the spell check, but here nothing is there. So that's fine. Next, we have to make sure the document is intact by following all this. There are no widows or orphans, no blank pages, or styles are maintained and spacing is consistent. If you go through the document, you can see that here there is a widow. The Only the last line is on the next page. So it's better to keep the whole paragraph on this page. So click at the beginning of this and go to insert page break. Also, let's keep the table fit within the column. So it looks good. So this is the required document. Save the document and print it. Next is the database task, which is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.